Hey, well, hello, my fellow car models. How are you doing today? Yeah, I am trucking away on this. I'm going to put this away because, well, I needed something. So I went over to Andy's today just to get a little something. Let me get all this stuff in the way. I ended up coming home with more than I bargained for, as always. got my bag here but the first thing I want to show you before we get into what you all tuned in for you probably saw it in the thumbnail but uh, of course I needed for my project of the, the Porsche there is I had to go pick up some of the clear X22 clear I didn't have any and uh, fresh you know off the truck just came in over at Andy's so there we go I got that and of course there's that and I have an announcement later I'm going to make there's a little bit of a change of plans on this Porsche but that's not what this is about so you know we'll talk about that later but this is what we're really here to see I was very surprised to see this at Andy's and got very googly my model car dude inside of me little model car guy inside of me went ah there we go yeah pretty cool huh that's a uh, Let's take a look at it. What the heck? Here we go. It's the, uh, you know, all new uh, body, I think. There's probably some other parts in there, but, you know, of course, they got this retro box. This is kind of cool. This is a kit that, you know, I actually have somewhere. I'm not going to go dig it up to do any comparison or anything. So this is like the, the later Vega, you know, the 74 Vega. This kit came out um, back in those days in this box art at... Uh, it was a little bit better than the uh, earlier Grumpy's Toy Vega, which was really kind of a stock Vega with the wheel wells cut out and big tires given to you. It really, this was the one that they actually first did the Pro Street tub chassis with, which you ended up getting in the new reissue of the uh, earlier kit that came out about a year and a half ago, the, the, the Grumpy's Toy Kit. That's the only new to show you that this ain't the old. And shows you we got better decals in it than the old one. And of course, they are plugging away at their their last issue of the Vega. So let's open this up now. I've been blah blah on like I do. Ah, I love it when you break the seal. So nice. And I'm sure there's other openings on this kit that I always like to share with you guys. And you know, I, I, you know what? I've been lately keeping these stickers. I'm gonna try to. I, I kind of like these things. I'm starting to stick them up on on my other bench I have next to me. So I think that's going to go right there. What the heck. So, um, let's look. I can't wait to see it. Which, you know, kind of sort of seen these Vegas a million times. But uh, that's something I want to check out. Look at that. The, new, the, the front and rear bumpers. Yeah, super nice. I love these uh, deep, uh, I guess they'd be super tricks. It could be either super tricks or center line. I think they'd be more Craig or super tricks. But uh, they look a lot better than what came in the earlier kit. Yeah, that's what came in the other, uh, the Grumpy Vega was those. These are just a little better looking. And that was an upgrade that came with uh, the later kit early in the earlier in the uh, back in the 70s when this kit first came out and moving along there's the uh, the tail lights are different of course in this kit the later model kit nice glass oh we got headlights finally not chrome that's gonna be cool to see we don't have chrome light headlights clear headlights we got the side glass I don't think that was in the original kit and there's the, the regular glass that we get Super nice, you know, which which has pretty much been happening all the time. We all know the nice drag 500, big fat slicks. Those are typical AMT old MPC slicks that uh, were from the 70s. Here we go. This is what we want to see here. Oh yeah, like it nice wheel well that's better than the early one but that's pretty much the same wheel well now that the corrected nice stretched wheel well that came in that grumpy's toy kit 
Um, so this is pretty much, you know, it's the same thing as the Grumpy's toy kit, except we got the updated nose and the updated uh, rear uh, valance here with taillight panel for the more updated pan, uh, taillights. Other than that, it's the same kit. Now, I know a lot of people kind of balk at this. Yeah, it's, it's not 100% correct. It's kind of basically a redesigned cut-up of the annual street kit, you know, that came out back in the day. Um, but really, guys, this makes into such a cool kit. It's either that or we wouldn't get a Vega. They're, they're not going to... It's a lot of money to tool those things up. They're not, it's just, you know, did we want it or didn't we? They put them where they decided to put the money in, and this is where I agree with round two. I would rather them make these bodies better. These are thousand times better than the, the old kits. If you ever had any of the old kits from the 70s, they really made these a lot nicer, especially that Grumpy's Toy one. That was totally retooled from the original. But this, I mean, this was an important thing. They never got the wheel wells right back in the 70s. They were always way too high. They didn't really have this nice lip on them. I'm telling you guys, if you never, ever saw them, this is such a major improvement and changes the look of your car. This is all something we can get around with. Be a model builder, scratch build something. You know, I'm going to say that. You got nice tubs on the inside here, the interior. Uh, that's that's where I stand with this. Again, thank you round two for taking the time and the money. I guarantee it's probably a hundred grand to retool what we got. So uh, you know they can't do it all. It's either that or we wouldn't have it at all. I'll take what we got. And uh, uh, this kit, just like the Grumpy's toy kit, looks like there's a front spoiler there. Look at that. That's kind of interesting. I don't know why they would do that, but they did it. Let's see. I want to see that. There's something. I don't, yeah, look at that. Isn't that trip? Look at that. I don't know. It... Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. I might hold on to that for a different project. Different Vega I wanted to do. Woohoo. That's super cool, man. That front spoiler. Wow. That is neat. I don't believe that was in the, in the earlier Grumpy Toy one from a year and a half ago. But, you know, it's got the big block in there, which isn't correct. It's got an automatic dredge missing, not correct. Kind of like just stock manifolds, you know. It, it, it's a reissue of the old MPC kits. That's what you had to deal with back in those days. It's fine. You know, we've got kit. You know, you do some kit bashing to correct it all. Where it meant the time to be placed and the money was right there. Making these, these Vega bodies. Better than not having it at all. And there's two hoods, just like the other kit. We've got the hood. It looks like, I don't know, that's kind of strange. Same freaking hood. I think I might have gotten extra parts in my, uh, an extra bag here. So it looks like I got a duplicate bag of stuff. You guys let me know what you got, because this looks like a duplicate bag. <laughs> that's kind of funny. You're watching the Lucas C channel on YouTube. I wonder if I'm missing missing something then. If I got some missing parts because I got an extra bag of the same thing. Eh, it happens. We'll look around. Let's take a look at these decals. Nice decals. Much better decals. Nice work. That's pretty cool. But, uh... Yeah, so just taking a look around, I find that kind of odd that I have this. Uh, maybe I'm just lucky and I got an extra extra hood in there. It looks like I got a scoop, but I don't have that other hood. Let's see, what do we got here? Yeah, it looks like I'm missing some parts here. You know what? I'm mi I, I'm, it happens. I could probably contact them and get that. I'm missing this tree and I think this tree. Um, that would be the dashboard. So I can probably contact uh, contact round two and uh, get the parts. But hey, that's pretty interesting. So you know what? This could take it in a whole nother direction. I am going to contact round two and say there was a missing tree that actually had an extra tree. So I didn't get a couple of parts, which would be the tree that has the other hood 
and the hood that has just got a hole in it with the separate uh, snorkel hood scoop. I'm doing a double check here. Hood and hood scoop doesn't bug me that much. I don't really care about that. But heck, I need that dashboard. That dashboard is needed. Seats, eh, you know, I could find other seats. I honestly could live without it, but you know what? We pay this kind of money for these kits. Let's let's see how they are, and I'll do an update. I'm not bagging. I'm not talking bad about round two at all. My goodness gracious, it's the first time this has ever happened to me, quite honestly. So I am not ticked at all. I could actually probably bring this to Andy's and he would... Uh, he take care of me, but if that's not his, it's not his, it's not his issue. Um, I will contact round two, see how they handle it. Be interesting. I don't think they'll give me any problems, but it is basically we are missing this right here and this right here, and I've got extras of times two on that and times two on that. That kind of stuff happens in production. It's not a big deal. Whenever you run into this, just go ahead and contact the company, and I'm sure they're going to take care of it. Well, hey, my model car buds. I got done shooting, and then I double-checked, and I found just a little update here. I'm inserting this in here. This is after the fact. When I wrapped up shooting, I also found that I'm missing this right there. I got an extra of two trees, so it's probably a whole bag that they accidentally put one bag in instead of the other. So, yeah, yep, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to contact them again on Monday, and I'm sure they'll take care of me. Let's see. I'll let you guys know. Other than that, I'm very cool that this, it, I'm very happy, and I think it's very cool that this kit has come out. I was kind of excited when they announced it. I like what they've done. I love the retooling of the bodies. I've got two of the other Vega, the, the 71 Grumpy's Toy Vega. Probably only going to just get this one. I really didn't even really need it. I have one of these, but quite honestly, I'm glad I did because this body looks better. The rear wheel well is a lot nicer. And I like that it's got, instead of chrome headlights, you got you got uh, clear headlights. So, win-win. Um, and... Uh, that's cool. Um, I hope you uh, like this video. What the heck? Nice Saturday morning for you. So it is the 5th. If you're watching this, I put this out Saturday morning, Saturday the 5th. So it'll probably be the 7th of Monday. I'll contact round two and see what they can do for me about uh, hooking me up with, with those missing parts trees. There we go. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And hey, I got some great t-shirts and great mugs over at my Teespring store. In the description down below, you can find the link and uh, check that out. And go get yourself a mug or t-shirt. And even when we have a little bit of an issue, that's not a problem. We still have fun building model cars. So keep building the model cars. As I said, why? Because they're fun. And keep gluing those fingers together and keep cutting that styrene. And we'll see you in the next video. Here's the producers. Mugs over that my three teespring is.